everybody, it's Art Weston. I'm going to be doing a abrasion resistance test on monofilament line today. Um, I'm using a digital force gauge uh, with a small vise uh, with a brand new um, carbide razor blade underneath. Uh, I'm going to be measuring the amount of force it takes to sever line as an indication of abrasion resistance. Um, there's a couple different ways you can test abrasion resistance. Uh, this one seems to be reasonably consistent for me with thicker monofilament. Um, that blade is sitting on top of a set of solid aluminum blocks with a small aluminum pad and then a strip of stainless steel. That thin strip of stainless steel will keep the edges of the carbide blade uh, off of the flat surface to get a cleaner and more consistent uh, breaking uh, reed or, or severing reed on the line. So. Uh, I've chosen two different lines of the same uh, diameter, and the first one is Berkeley's Big Game Monofilament in 50 pound, and the second is Momoy's High Catch IGFA also in 50 pound. Uh, they come in right around uh, 0 0.71 or 0 0.72 millimeters in diameter, so let's go ahead and confirm that for the video. 0 0.72, that's the Berkeley in pink. And then we've got the Momoi at 0 0.72 in fluorescent yellow. So exactly the same diameters. So let's go ahead and set the Berkeley up here and see how much force it takes to sever that line. Um, we have to go really slow. 3.8 pounds, which is consistent with my prior test. Set this back up for the Momoi. Zero it out. Four point eight. So that's four point eight divided by three point eight um, is a twenty six. 0.3% uh, difference, um, which is um, also consistent with my prior test. I've seen it uh, go between this 26 mark all the way up to 36%. So um, it's probably around a 30% uh, difference uh, with multiple samples. What's interesting is uh, choosing which line to use given this information. Obviously, there's a lot of other characteristics to um, make that decision. Um, but one thing that I didn't mention is that this Berkeley uh, Big Game breaks at 25% um, more pressure than the Momoi. So uh, it breaks at 65.51 pounds of force, uh, given its exact uh, equal diameter to the Momoi. Um, and it breaks at 52.27 pounds. So it's an interesting trade-off. Uh, obviously, the Berkeley is much stronger line for its diameter but the Momoi is significantly more abrasion resistant. Um, so I think that really depends then on application. If you fit a lot of structure uh, where you're broken off a lot by rock, concrete, or wood, um, and you're not as concerned about um, the uh, strength of the line itself, uh, you should go with the Momoi, at least in comparison to the Berkeley in this test. The Berkeley would be great for open water situations or in areas where abrasion resistance is less of a problem. So there you have it. Thank you.